Double trouble. It is Nina and Annie from Attention 2. They are competing in the second semifinal of Finland's UMK, the national selection for Eurovision. <laughs> I'm William in London and Denise is joining us in the Netherlands. We've got a ton of questions for you. Denise, why don't you kick it off? Um, so girls, who is who? I'm Nina and I'm Annie. <laughs> well, your song is called Ready for the Show. So, an easy one. Are you already ready for the show? I oh. think we are. <laughs> <laughs> Course, I mean, of course, we're young, but we are ready for yeah. the show. But we are ready. <laughs> How did you get the idea and the opportunity to sing at UMK this year? Um, well, we are like Eurovision Song Contest fans. Like, we're like big fans. Our whole family watches it. And also we do. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was just like a dream to us. And then we just uh, met our... Um, Songwriters and they were really lovely and you know they were like they were last year on Wamko, Pihka uh, Milsku and we were like, well you guys were there last year and we're at the perfect age so could we possibly come too if you would write a song and then they were like yeah of course we write you a song and then we made the demo and you know things happened and then we got in. <laughs> Oh, great. Yeah, and yeah, you said you are yeah really young. You're 15, almost 16. Yeah. Um, so you've been waiting for us for a long time. But uh, this is for like the real big Eurovision. Um, Finland doesn't yeah participate in the Junior Eurovision Song Contest. But if they were, um, would it be like, oh my God, we would have been in that one? Because yeah, you had to wait so long. Definitely. Yeah, definitely, but... The thing is that we will be too old for junior recent mm -hmm. song But if we um, would have the age sure. and it would have been in Finland, of course we, we would apply because, of course, yeah, of course. We are like, we watch uh, junior yeah, recent song, song contest, contest, but we don't have that in Finland, which is very disappointing. We would love to have it here in Finland. Now, um, your song is so high energy and positive. Could you tell us about the message and the kind of feeling you wanted to create? Yes, yeah. it's about um, having imperfections in yourself. I think every person has those, you know, things that you aren't so confident about in yourself. And we just wanted to make this song to show that, you know, even though you're like not always perfect and everything is not always good, you're still like ready for everything you need to do in life. And, and it's just time to go and just go for it if you, you know, want to. and. You know, with the word with the word show, we don't we don't always mean like oh show like singing and stuff. It can be something that you just have to face every day, and you know, just something big that you just have to go for. So yeah, that's what we want to you know show in our song. <laughs> um, the message of the song, so that you can be ready for it, and about your insecurities. Um, will we also see that in the staging in the oh, UMK? Um, yeah. I think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little we hard. <laughs> lovely things planned for the live show, so. Yeah. Now, you guys are competing in the second semi final, and this is a very strong semi final. Yeah, yes. very strong. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the other songs? Oh, they're, they're so good, good. <laughs> honestly, and we just love everyone who has participated this year they're just honestly so nice people and they're so funny it's like they're really nice people like we feel like yeah. just we're really just, nice people you know because yeah. we had like a lot of before we uh, met them we were like are they gonna like yes. us do they think that we're just little children who came here you know little do a little sing song and you know <laughs> we were a little bit scared of that but they were so nice and like they really wanted to talk with us and they were excited and you know that yeah. was just the best and the so just, yeah. songs are really good like yeah, I really think. good and they're also like really strong songs yeah. and a lot of like big names are coming to the second semi-final so that yeah. is really scary <laughs> we're just really privileged to be part of the 
part of the team because you know we're just new artists mm. starting so we're just really privileged to be part of this <laughs> and about uh, being a new artist uh, in there yeah you had a chance to make your own video for the song um it looked really awesome with like a comic yeah. book or something um can you tell us a little more about it how it was to do it for the first time yeah um well we had like a meeting with the people they asked like what kind of videos you like and we had like a certain videos that we really liked and we were like you know what would be really cool mm -hmm. if we would be superheroes because we are like huge fans of, of superheroes mm -hmm. and we were like that would be so cool and, and marvel comics and, and things we like really that. like comics and stuff like that and they were like okay yeah, yeah. and then we uh, met the director who was actually the brother of, of our songwriter oh. right. so yeah. we have like this community of people um so um he was like i can do it and yeah. he just made amazing mm, video you know, it's and just... it was so nice to film like we had like trampolines and treadmills and, and uh, like <laughs> we were jumping up and down and kicking and you know it was really fun yeah <laughs> it was so... <laughs> so you don't want to get, do it again <laughs> <laughs> definitely <laughs> And have you guys started thinking about after UMK, regardless of what happens, will you continue to make music and work with your songwriter? Yeah, definitely. Yes, definitely. And it would be really nice to, you know, to do ourselves, to do something ourselves more to the music and just have like more people to be around. And I don't, um, I don't know how to say it, but, um, you know, just to have like, a real team to work with and just like leave a mark in like in the Finnish music industry if that would be really nice and also develop us like singers and uh, uh, like making music and do yeah. it better and you know yeah because of course there's something to do more so we there's just always to something more. to learn so we would love to you know yeah <laughs> and do you have the same taste in music <laughs> well yeah, yeah, sort of. I yes, mean, no. <laughs> no. Um, I like classical music a lot, and Nina doesn't like it that no, much. I, I mean, don't. you do, but <laughs> not that much. And uh, well, we have like we like each other's music taste, but yeah. But like, I love something Nina likes it. Nina loves something I like it. So it's kind of like, mm. you know, <laughs> there's still a difference. <laughs> but we both like One Direction. <laughs> 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 and we also know that you like Jedward. We saw a yeah. picture online. You actually met them recently. Yeah. Yeah. How did that happen? Oh. Well, it was like we were. It was like a Wednesday night. We were at home, and my mom, our mom was like, "Oh my God, Jedward is coming to Finland." <laughs> we're like, "What?" And she was like, "Yeah, you go. You got to go and meet them." And it was like a few days uh, before the whole release, so we couldn't tell them that. Um, we're part of yeah. the Eurovision Song, song contest. contest, but we told them that we make music, music together, together and we sent to Edward and he was like, oh really jazzy, I like it very much because we, we sang part of Lipstick, lipstick. so <laughs> we just, they are honestly so nice and yeah, it was just an amazing experience. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> great. And Jettel had a really nice placing with Lipstick, um, yeah, and they were twins, you are twins, do yes. you think that's an advantage? Yeah. Um, I think, I you think have, some yeah. person said on Twitter yesterday that oh, twins are always in. <laughs> so um, I don't know about that. Um, I think we still want to be kind of different than Jedward. Yeah. So, uh, but we want to take the energy that they have to, because they're you know, like because they're really energetic. energetic. <laughs> so of course, um, I don't know. Yeah, I think I think still like music comes first, and I hope it's. I hope that we stand out with the fact that we're twins, but yeah. it's not the first thing that should come to people's mind that, oh my god, they're twins, they have to win. You know, hopefully people just like our music and just the energy that we have. <laughs> and you guys have similar hair, similar eyes, because you're <laughs> twins. <laughs> Are your voices similar? Can you distinguish each other's voice from the other? Yeah, yeah. I think so. I have like lower voice, a yeah. lot lower than Nina's. And also like the way we speak Finnish, it's a bit different as well. Yeah, and also like the way we sing is different because yeah. Nina goes. <laughs> <laughs> so mine is 
I think, lower, and Nina's a bit higher, and Nina does, like, more of that, I don't know, like, how do you say that? ad lipping and uh, like... Mariah Carey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm more, like, kind of staying with the tone of the voice and kind of make the tone better. We have she's, like a, she's like Adele and I'm like Mariah Carey. <laughs> <laughs> so both <laughs> great. Yeah. I'm yeah. not so that good, good. you know. The, the idea is the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and apart from that, um, how do we recognize who is Annie and who is Nina? I mean, for us, you are the same. <laughs> um, I mean, at the, as, as an attention too, we look same. same. Like, we have similar shirts. But uh, during the, like, when we are Annie and Nina living in Espo, Finland, we're really kind of different. And Nina wears glasses normally. Okay. <laughs> so, and I don't. So that's a way of um, recognizing yeah. us. And also, like, uh, we... We have like differences when you look closely. Like my head is more round and Nina is more you know, structured. <laughs> yeah. Know. yeah, and you know we have like uh, differences. And you know our friends say that even like the way we just are is different yeah. compared to the other. So kind of recognize from that too. And people often ask twins silly questions. Yeah. I'm curious, what are some of the silliest questions you've been asked? Um, they ask, like, all the time, they um, ask, I think the sil silliest question that I've ever had, did you deliver, like, side by side? Yeah, <laughs> like, in the delivery, <laughs> it was really weird, and then people also ask, like, do you do everything together? Do you sleep in the same bed? Do you do homeworks together? together? And, and it's, like, creepy, because, like, <laughs> you know, like, no, we don't. We, yeah, it's and, like, uh, I think also, like, it's, it's just like really weird question that you have like you think the same things all the time. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> yeah. So there are some silly questions. Of yeah, course. But mostly are like, are you guys twins? <laughs> are you guys identical? <laughs> and, you know. When one of you has a headache, does the other one feel it? <laughs> happens sometimes. If <laughs> Nina is nervous, I mean, not in that way, but if Nina is nervous, I get nervous. If Nina is sad, I get sad. Oh, wow. yeah, I don't know why, but we kind of like feel each other's emotions. <laughs> but that that doesn't always yeah. come with But we have like a really big like empathy. Like we feel mm. that really well other people's emotions. <laughs> yeah. No, I think we feel <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. Yeah, it's really funny because when you're talking right now, you are finishing each other's sentences yeah. and you are saying the same words at the same time. And <laughs> it's so funny to hear, yeah. No, like when we were doing the UAMCO, like we had to make a video when we were applying there. And we were like, should we say that we're twins? Everyone looks, no. People already know just the way you talk and are, you're twins. Everybody knows. <laughs> And obviously, UMK is judged. There's juries, there are people voting. If you had to convince people why they should send attention to and ready for the show to Eurovision, what would you say? Convince us now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I think people should send us because we have energy that, we have that young energy that just people need in Eurovision more. I mean, they already have the good vibe there but they need like more more of that I don't know <laughs> and also like we're like just happy of everything we do and like uh, I think it shows we're just like genuinely really excited yeah. about everything and we just we would be so so happy it's like a dream come true you would make two girls' dreams come true if you would send us to Eurovision Song Contest. Yeah. And also, we have a good song and uh, we're, you know, good singers and stuff. <laughs> and, you know, we can bring something new to Yeah, it. something new. Something new, definitely. Uh, can you sing a little part of the song? Okay, oh. what part? <laughs> Is that okay. okay. <laughs> They make us well we are, they make us well we are, lift us up, so don't you be afraid, we're heading for the stars, heading for the stars, don't you stop, it's time to go, go, ready for the show, show, had enough of no, no, ready for the show, cause we'll get far, far, just the way we are, our 
no need to be ashamed of anything we are. It's time to go, ready for the show, ready for the show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, Yay. It's it's amazing. Really <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> There's a part when we sing like ready for the show and then the other one sings ready for the show. And so it's like <laughs> what should we do? <laughs> what should we do? Yeah. That sounds so good. It That's really amazing. does. Yeah. Have you guys received feedback from the other artists in UMK? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think um like a lot of people have said that they're really nice people. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> hopefully, and hopefully they mean it. They mean it. <laughs> and um, also, like, just um, they said that uh, it's nice to have like uh, people from young age to come here. Yeah. And I, yeah. and they they complimented our song, and they've just been like, "This is exactly what Finland needs." And mm. you know, some people just really are generally happy yeah. that we are in and, and it's really like we are like yay because like there's so like some of the people were like incredibly like you know just saying a lot of good things and yeah. we were really excited about you know it was yeah just, it was just unbelievable that people are just so so amazing <laughs> that's <laughs> nice um, so, do you have something to say to all of our readers who love you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for all your supportive comments and just we hope that you enjoy our stage performance and you enjoy our song. So, thank you, thank you so, so much, much for watching and I hope you enjoy our music in the future as well as today. <laughs> Nina and Annie will compete in the second semifinal of UMK 2016. That is on Saturday, February 13th. If you want to see them at Eurovision, you need to pick up your phone and vote. Ladies, thank you so much. Kitos! Thank you. <laughs> thank you.